What's up guys? Alright, we're going to do our uh, wet uh, our marinade now. It was going to be dry cure, but it's a uh, wet marinade now. So, we're going to start off with some cold light, or cold light, Coors Light. Um, we're using Coors Light because I don't want to waste a good beer on it. So, put a little bit in there, about half the bottle of beer. I should probably use a full beer because it's only half a beer. No, there we go. <laughs> so I got that in there. Uh, then I'm going to pour in a half cup of salt. I got a mixture of salts in here. I took some um, sea salt last year and I smoked it. And uh, that's a good idea to do if you ever want to just put a quick smoky flavor in something. Smoke some salt. It takes a few hours. Turns it kind of like a yellowish color when it's done. But I got some sea salt mixed in there as well. So I got coarse sea salt and some fine sea salt mixed in there. Uh, half cup. And then I've got some curing salt I picked up here at Cabela's. I'm going to turn this on here. Uh, we're going to go with a medium heat, low medium, uh, yeah, low medium, because we don't want to we don't want to get it too hot. We just want to make it dissolve all the uh, sugars and salts and solids. So I'm going to put one teaspoon of curing salt. That is plenty. It's going to be delicious. And this uh, one one teaspoon of curing salt is good enough to do roughly what have we got here? About four or five pounds of meat? About five pounds. So next we're going to throw some brown sugar, another half cup. I got some uh, demerara sugar. It's my favorite. It's nice and dark, very molassesy. Toss that in there. Tablespoon of garlic. Because we want to get some flavor in here. Teaspoon of onion salt. And the, the garlic and onion salt have nothing to do with the curability of the meat. This is strictly personal choice for flavor. A little pinch of red peppers. They're going to float through that. Uh, a couple cracks of pepper. Whisk. And we're going to just let this go until the uh, until it's all dissolved up. Let it cool down, and then we'll pour it on the jerky uh, or on the meat. And uh, we'll be back when, uh, for that next step. Cheers. Mm -hmm. 